morning folks I'm breaking camp here at uh, Lolo campground and uh, I want to do a lot more of this on the road because this was well, I, when I pulled in the other day there was just a brown sign off the highway that said National Forest Campground and campground was two words it wasn't very like appealing or hey come here and check this out uh, so I'm, I'm, but I'm really glad I turned down here and I did find out later that there is currently a wildfire at Lolo Peak in this same forest, but it's 93 miles away, so it must be a really big forest. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I get a little farther into Montana. I have 100% no plans today, so wherever I stop and check out, wherever I camp, we shall see. I don't know. I'm excited though. The most randomest of random anything, just driving in the middle of uh, Montana here, pull into the rest area, and this big fifth wheel and truck that are from Texas, they know me on YouTube, uh, met Daryl and Judy out here, really nice folks, uh, really enjoying the Montana area here, and they're heading east as well, so that happens from time to time all over the country. I am just tickled to death to uh, meet viewers on the road, especially viewers who are RVing full-time it's just so great. What a, what a really neat community that, that we all have, have built around, but got to get back on the road. Uh, I have uh, taken the exit off of I-90, actually the oncoming traffic over to the right. That's where I was just aiming. So I did a, a 180 because I saw something down here and I can't tell what it is, but it looks like primo camping and I just want to check it out. I have the freedom to go look and see, so that's what I'm going to do. The Natural Pier Bridge. The structure is an example of how engineers incorporated a natural feature into the, into the design of this bridge. Oh wait, actually I gotta show you this. So it's a, it's a one lane bridge, 11 foot 2 clearance, so I, I won't make it on it. But as you can probably see, the middle part of the bridge, the structure, the support, that's using what was already there, the earth's rock that had formed there, they built the concrete right into it. So. That's where their mid-span support was put in a natural area, which I think is, is a really unique way to uh, think about constructing the bridge. I really like it. And it's a really old bridge. You guys know how I love old bridges. But there's a fishing pier a little farther down the dirt road, so let's go check it out and see if there's camping. I thought I found a gem, but halfway down the dirt road was a big sign. No overnight parking, day use only, but it's still pretty cool. Anytime you can park this close to water, and, and it's, a, it's a fishing spot, so how pretty that is. Again, the highway noise behind me, but eh. I don't ever get deterred when I see signs that say no overnight parking or day use only. I just, uh, you know, you can, you can still enjoy life for the daytime. And worst case scenario, go find a Walmart to park. So, I mean, pretty nice here. Again, something has come up. My brakes are out again, not out. My rotors or something, something major is wrong with my braking system. Again, 200 miles away from the Spokane repair. So, yeah, apparently this is my life now. 200 miles on every new set of rotors. I'll show you next time I get a chance to stop what's going on. Oh, red light, here we go. As far as I can tell, warped rotors again. It could be a rear drum issue. This is starting to get comical, guys. I really don't know anymore. It's Sunday afternoon. There is, There are two Les Schwab franchises here in Missoula, Montana. And guess what? These are the last Les Schwab Tire franchises this far east. 
in Missoula. There's one north of here up near uh, Helena, but this is as far east as their franchise will help me with the warranty. So, I have hit a major roadblock. I, th I think it's very funny that uh, 100,000, more than 100,000 people are following my travels here live, and we just, I <laughs> they just can't get breaks the last 200 miles. And obviously, no one on YouTube can sustain a lifestyle where you have to replace your brakes every 200 miles. Can we all just laugh? Let's just laugh. <laughs> it's kind of, it, it, this is comical now. Here's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow morning, I will be there at 7 a.m. They open at eight. I'm gonna sit up against their door for an hour, be the first one in there. Again, poor Jax is going to have to either be in the lobby or in the bathroom. They're gonna put my RV up on a lift. It's gonna be, it's gonna take an entire day up. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to keep a positive attitude about it anymore, but I am really trying. I don't know. I feel like I wanna say some stuff and I'm just not going to. Completely out of my control. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.